Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's uh, session wherein we will be covering the second part of the ERPV which stands for equation, ratio, proportion and variation. So, in today's class uh, we shall be looking at the concept of what do we mean by consistent set of equations, inconsistent set of equations, consistent with infinite solutions, consistent with uh, unique solution right. We shall be looking at all of that. So, uh, these uh, video series if you look at the previous video right in the same series ERPV we have uh, discussed couple of points one was how do we frame the equation second was how do we solve it and I told you in the previous class that framing the equation will be more important than uh, solving the equation you need to focus more on learning how do we frame it right. Uh, today's video as I said is a specific uh, topic but again we will try to cover today's video uh, quickly because we have around 15 minutes time for doing this right. Uh, so, we will have to do it quickly of course along with taking up some examples. For more detailed uh, learning please ensure that uh, if you are interested in uh, doing your MBA cracking cat please reach out to the nearest center right and uh, uh, enroll in a course of your choice right uh, in the batch of your choice right wherein we will discussing these uh, concepts at even greater depths right. We at time are national leaders uh, uh, with respect to the number of call getters with respect to number of converts with respect to the auditor auditor results right. So, that way uh, we will be able to help you in achieving your goal of doing an MBA from a really good college right uh, very efficiently right. Let us get started with the video. So, in today's video we shall be looking at as I was saying the concept of consistent, inconsistent and consistent with infinite solutions. Now, if you take set of equations a1x plus b1y equals c1 and a2x plus b2y equals c2. If you take the set of equ equations, if you were to plot them on the graph, if you try to plot them on the graph, these two set of, equa set of equations will represent two lines. So, the two lines that we have could either be like this entirely parallel could either be like this intersecting or could also be like this that is entirely overlapping one on top of each other. So, these are the only three possibilities that we have for a pair of lines right. Now, one more thing in graphical approach whenever or wherever the lines intersect wherever they intersect that is called as a solution point right that is called as a point of uh, solution whenever the lines intersect. So, that means in this case when the lines are intersecting only once we shall have only one solution. In this case when the lines are infin uh, infinitely intersecting they are intersecting at every point we will have infinite solutions and here since parallel lines they will never intersect they will have 0 solutions right. Now, these 3 cases corresponds to three different cases here also. So, the case 1 which corresponds to the line drawn in third quadrant is the case or the condition when the ratio of x coefficients is same as ratio of y coefficients is same as ratio of the constant terms. So, whenever this happens a 1 by a 2 equal to b 1 by b 2 equal to c 1 by c 2 then such set of equations will be called as consistent equations with infinite solutions. Now, why infinite? Because in this case the lines will be overlapping one on top of each other there will be infinitely many solutions. Second case if I pick the second case case 2 or rather what I will do is I will take the parallel line case first. So, this corresponds to the case in the first quadrant case 2, the case of parallel lines. So, the condition for parallel lines case is the ratio of x coefficients is same as y coefficients, but is not same as constant terms ratio. So, this is called as inconsistent set of equations and they will be having no solutions, 0 solutions. And the third case that we shall have case 3 
Now this corresponds to the intersecting lines case which is in the fourth quadrant. So that will happen when the ratio of x coefficients is not equal to ratio of y coefficients a1 by e2 is not equal to b1 by b2 in this case we say the system of equations are consistent with unique solution unique means single because I as you can see in the graph as well in this case there is only one point of intersection there is one solution okay. so these are the three cases that we come across you may note them down right and also recall or remember the corresponding graphical case for example for this it is the overlapping lines for this it is the parallel lines for this it is the intersecting lines so today's video is entirely based on this logic this concept right now we'll take a few examples also following this right? uh, please note this down now we'll move on to some questions so let us look at the very first example that we have here so the question says if the following system of equations have exactly one solution so they have only one solution means what intersecting lines right then what can we say about the value or values of k so this from our previous discussion would mean this is pair of lines which are intersecting so if they are intersecting what was the condition consistent equation with unique solution so that is a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 right this was a condition c1 by c2 we do not even care right we do not even are we are not even concerned about c1 c2 so when you solve this 3 goes 7 times 3 goes 3 times so the value of k should not be equal to 13 to 3 39 by 7 so as long as k is not 39 by 7 not equal to 39 by 7 the system of equations will have a unique solution but the moment k is 39 by 7 then the system of equations will have no solution then they will convert into parallel lines you can see that so if you take cal k as some other value let us say phi so if you put k as phi so the ratio is 13 by phi 21 by 9 they are not equal so they will be intersecting lines but the moment k takes 39 by 7 what happens 13 by 39 by 7 and this is uh, 21 by 9 13 will go 3 times so left hand side becomes 7 by 3 right hand side also after simplification becomes 7 by 3 they will become equal so they will not be having unique solution right they should have exactly one solution so thus any value of k not equal to 39 by 7 will satisfy the given condition that the system of equations have unique solution okay one more question on same line similar lines look at this if the following system of equations have at least one solution so that means it is not the case of zero solution now when I say at least one it could be one or more now when I say more it could be infinite also right one or infinite then what can we say about the values of k let us look at it so if you look at the ratio firstly a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 so one thing that we can clearly notice here is b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 if they are not equal can i say this system of equations can never be overlapping lines because the condition for overlapping lines was a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 but right now we clearly see these two are not equal thus can i say when i say at least one it can never be more solutions that is infinite solutions is not possible so that means this should also be indirectly a case of exactly one solution i hope the logic is clear so for this to be exactly one solution a1 by a2 should not be equal to b1 by b2 which is when you solve it k should not be equal to 3 into 4 which is 12 so that means for any value other than 12 for any value other than 12 this system of equations will have one solution but if you take k as 12 then what will happen then this system of equation will have no solution we do not want that so what are what can we say about the possible values of k I will say there are infinitely many values any value other than 12 will work all right I hope we are clear with this question also now one more 
it says if the following system of equations have no solution at all. So, when I say no solution, zero solution and what is the condition for zero? There is a very straightforward condition for that. It is a 1 by a 2 equal to b 1 by b 2 should not be c 1 by c 2 which is clearly true. a 1 by a 2 is 1 by 3, c 1 by c 2 is 3, they are not equal of course. Now, for them to have 0 solutions, this equality should happen and when you equalize, equalize them 1, 1 by 3, so k will become 12 into 3 which is 36. So, if you put k as 36, the system of equations will have 0 solutions, but if you do not put k as 36, if you do not put k as 36, then the given system of equations will have right a uh, unique solution. So, for k equal to 36, there is no solution for any other value besides 36, there will be one single solution. Okay. So, in your competitive exam, I am just leaving this. In your competitive exam, you come across questions which are asked on these lines, right? wherein he would be, the examiner would be talking about consistent equations or he would be talking about the case where the system of equations have no solution or single solution, unique solution, you should be aware of the corresponding conditions for that. Just to recap, the condition for infinite solution is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. Condition for no solution is a1 by a2, b1 by b2 not equal to c1 by c2. Condition for unique solution is a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. So, if you know these conditions, then any candidate will be able to tackle such questions no matter how complicated the language of the question is. So, I hope we have followed it, alright. So, with this, we have come to the end of the video today, right. So, for more videos like this, right, because we keep on releasing the videos on daily basis, alright, on every week, uh, weekly basis, daily basis, alright. So, for getting more videos, access to more videos, please ensure that you subscribe to the channel, right. And uh, please uh, hit the bell icon, right, because that will be giving you the notification regarding the new videos as and when they release, right. On that note, let me end the session here. Thank you and all the very best.